I really can't believe that you, out of all people, would end up in my shop today. And I really am just so, so sorry that I wasn't able to help you with what you wanted. But just make sure that I never have to see your mug in my store ever again. Do you understand me? Morgan, you are absolutely ridiculous. Do you know that? I mean, really, what is the matter with you? I have no idea what you were talking about when I came in today, but I am sure that you were lying to me. And all because of this stupid grudge you've held against me ever since we were in high school together. It's just childish at this point. I mean, what is even the point of acting that way towards me now that we're adults? What are you talking about, Isabel? I would never do anything just because I thought it annoyed you. Do you really think that of me? I mean, I know that your mom died and all. And the really... And that is really unfortunate. But the fact that you can't cancel her cell phone plan and you'll just have to pay for it forever. Yeah, that is not going to happen. And what's more, I really can't believe that you know my mom is dead and you're still treating me like this. The funeral was literally yesterday. How can you be so cruel to me at a time like this? All I want to do is cancel her cell phone contract just like I've been canceling all of her other subscriptions and bills. But all you fed me were a bunch of lies. And the worst part is that you're the closest shop to my mom's carrier and I just didn't have time to go and deal with someone else. I don't get why you can't just grow up and let me cancel my mom's cell phone contract. Your dear old mom may be dead, but I don't see how that is my or my company's problem. We have rules here and we aren't just going to break them for every little sob story that comes walking through the doors. Sob story? I literally just want to cancel the contract for someone who is never going to use their phone again. Why are you acting like this? Do you really think this is how your company wants you treating its customers? And just who are you to tell me what does and doesn't fly around here, huh? I'll have you know that I've been an employee of months here for almost half a year. Well, I find that very hard to believe given the way that you've been treating me over this. And you clearly need to grow up if you think that stomping your feet and crying about your dead mom means that you deserve special treatment. I already told you that I'm going to follow our shop's rules and nothing more. And so you're telling me that what you've told me is really what your company policy is? Only the person actually holding the contract can be the one to cancel it? Of course that's company policy. Do you really think that you're in a position to know better than me? Are you forgetting that I actually work here? I am well aware that you work there. I am just saying that I don't think that's a real rule. I think that you're making up excuses so that you don't have to help me canceling the contract because you hate me. I don't get why you can't just do your job like any other staff member would and help me out with what I need from you. How many times are you going to make me repeat myself? It is company policy that only the contract holder can be the one to cancel their contract. My body, no business. Got it? Don't you come in acting all entitled to something that I literally can't even do for you. It's yours and your dead mom's fault for not reading the fine print better. So don't try and pin this all on me. You really think I believe that there is no way for a dead person's contract to be cancelled? That's just a ridiculous lie, and I'm sure of it. All I want to do is cancel my mom's cell phone service. Is that really so bad? What is even the point of keeping the contract up if the number is never going to be used ever again? I mean, I would think that there would be plenty of times where someone who wasn't the contract holder was trying to get out of the contract for a friend or family member. Are you really telling me that everyone who hasn't canceled their plans before they've died are still on the same cell phone plans? If you're so curious about the finer points of our company policy, why don't you get a job here with me, huh? I don't have time to get into the weeds about this with you, but I have made myself clear. If you don't have your mom, then I can't cancel her contract. It's as simple as that, got it? You could always just bring her in with you, thought, and do it. Oh wait, oops. You can't do that because your mom is dead. How can you send a message like that, Morgan? That really is just cruel and it's uncalled for. You're one to talk. You've always looked down on people ever since we were younger. This is what you get after years of that.
are you talking about? You think I was the one looking down on people? You were just a bully all throughout high school. You would be so mean to me all the time just because I was studying. I can't believe that you've still held on to your grudge over all these years, though. That's right. You were just the little nerd who needed to come out off her shell. All I was doing was reminding you that you weren't better than the rest of us, just because you thought you were so clever. But that doesn't have anything to do with what I'm doing now. The two topics are totally separate. And right now, the only thing that matters is that you're trying to get me to break the rules of my work. I really think that you're making a mistake treating me like this. Now, can we please just deal with my mom's contract before I have to make this a bigger deal than it should be? You really must have poor reading comprehension skills or a bad memory. Let me say this one more time. Nobody, no business. I can't cancel a contract for someone who isn't in the store. I don't care if she did drop dead. She should have thought about this before then. Okay then, fine. Have it your way. You want to talk to my mom about this? We can arrange that. And just what is that supposed to mean, huh? I mean that I am sick and tired of dealing with you and I am fed up. If you're going to continue acting this stubborn and selfishly, then you leave me with no choice. I can't believe you're making me do what I'm going to do after just losing my mom. And just what are you going to do? You just said your mom is dead, so how are you going to bring her? You're not making any sense. Surely you're not going to just drag her corpse in here or something, right? Well, that certainly does appear to be what you want me to do. You keep saying over and over again how you need a body before we can do business. So just know that whatever happens next, you asked for this. I don't believe you. What are you possibly going to do? There's no way that you'd bring your dead mom in here unless you really were a crazy person. You don't scare me. Do your worst, you'll make things bad for yourself, though. You may have been smart when we were little, but now, you've just gone crazy. Alright then, I'll take that as you giving me permission to do what I'm going to do next. I'm going to bring my mom to the store and then we will cancel her contract. I don't believe you, you're just insane. We'll see about that, won't we, Morgan? Anyways, I'll be back tomorrow. Isabel, just what the heck are you thinking, huh? What is the matter with you? Sorry, wh what are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about, Isabel. Is this some kind of game to you? You're sick, do you know that? A game? I'm sorry, Morgan, but I really have no idea what you're talking about. I only did what you wanted me to do, so this means we can cancel my mom's cell phone contract, right? Yeah, fine, whatever, I'll cancel it. But you really went way too far with this. I mean, what happened to you to make you like this? You mean you're really surprised that I brought my mom's coffin to the store? You were the one telling me to bring her over and over again. I thought that's what you wanted. Why in the world would you think that I wanted you to bring your mom's casket in my shop? You know that that wasn't what I meant. Why would you do this to me? You have no idea how much trouble I'm going to get in. My manager wants to know just why you were even there in the first place. And why did you have your mom's casket? Shouldn't she be in the ground or something? I'm sorry, Morgan, but I really don't see what all the fuss is about. You insisted that we could only do business if my mom was there, so I brought her. I don't see what else there is to discuss besides that. Shut up! You know that what you did was completely insane. Just admit it. You're crazy. What were you thinking? My boss is furious with me over this little incident. Is that what you wanted? Okay, settle down. The coffin was empty anyways. Wait, really? You swear there was nobody in there? Yes, of course it was empty. Do you think I'm really going to bring my mom's body to your store? You were just so insistent on this stupid rule of yours that I wanted to make you put your money where your mouth is. Besides, my mom's actually been dead for about a week now. Not only that, but we didn't just bury her, we cremated her. I just brought a casket with me for dramatic effect. So then, it was all just a prank? I just wanted to try and teach you a lesson about what you were doing to me. And I called the funeral home that cremated my mom and asked if I could rent one of their caskets for a day. I can't believe that you would go that far just to prank me. You're sick. I only did what I did because you didn't give me any other choice. I had to match your ridiculousness with my own. 
But that isn't fair. I didn't think that you were going to show up with a coffin just to make your point. I mean, I really got into trouble for that. My boss wanted to know what in the world was going on and forced me to tell him everything. Oh, I know all about that. I heard the details of your little talk from your boss himself. Wait, what? You talked to my boss as well? That's right. And he told me that of course it was possible for relatives of a deceased contract holder to cancel the contract in their place. Which means that you did lie to me about store policy. You kept insisting that there was nothing you could do, but that just wasn't true. What do you mean? What is going on here? You have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, just can it already. I've had enough out of you. You did this to bully me, and you took things way too far. No, I wasn't trying to bully you. It wasn't like that. I was just playing a little prank. I didn't think that you would be the one to take that too far. Please, you've already done enough damage with how mad my boss is at me. As he should be. You were being an awful employee and an even worse person. You know my mom just died, but you insisted on trying to make me feel even worse. And you lied to my face to do that. I am sick and tired of having to deal with you. You haven't changed at all since we went to school together. And what is that supposed to mean, huh? You know exactly what I mean when I say that, Morgan. From the moment I walked into your store, you were trying to act out of your sick little grudge against me. Now you're just mad that it all came back on you. You must be even dumber than you were in high school if you thought your plan was going to work. What did you just call me? You've got some nerve, you know that. I bet you wouldn't say that to my face. How dare you call me stupid? I demand that you apologize to me this instant. You think that I need to apologize to you? For what? Why would I ever do that? Because you caused so much trouble at my store and called me stupid. You've been so horrible and now you need to say that you're sorry. You are out of your mind if you think that I'm going to apologize to you. Let's remember that you were the one that started all of this with me. All I wanted to do was cancel a contract and you lied to me about it. I would never have done what I did if you didn't push me to that point. You said you wanted to see a body, so all I did was oblige you. Don't you dare try and blame me for this. You think that's what I meant when I said that? I never once asked you to bring a funeral casket to my store. Yes, you did. You said that you could only cancel the contract if the person who owned it was there. So I brought a casket so that we could finally settle the whole business. If you can't see how you were asking for that, then you really are a moron. It's not about what I was or wasn't asking for, it's that you brought a casket to my store. Why would you do something like that? For the last time, I did it because you were lying to me and I knew you were. If you didn't lie to me in the first place, then I wouldn't have to do that. But I never told you to do that. You said it was a rule that the real person had to be there. Even though that was a lie, you insisted that it was company policy. What else was I supposed to do, even if that was a real policy? You need to take responsibility for your actions and admit that you did this to yourself. No, I didn't do anything. None of this is my fault. It's all yours. You were the one who brought along the casket. This conversation is just dumb. We're repeating ourselves over and over again. But it's fine, really. I'm sure that you'll be fired over this. Wait, what? There's no way that they would fire me for something like this. I didn't even do anything wrong. You lied to a customer and made up rules that didn't exist. Then because of your lies, something happened that ruined the image of your store. I wouldn't think twice about firing you if I was your manager. But I didn't do anything. You were the one who brought the casket in. Yes, but tell me why I was driven to the point where I did that. Who insisted on having my dead mother present before we could do business? Why am I even responding to you when all you're doing is denying any responsibility at all? But I can't get fired for this. It isn't fair. This is all your fault. I'm not even the one who gets to make that decision. That talk is for you and your boss to have, Morgan. 
hold on a second. I just got a text from my boss that I'm going viral. What is this about? Ah, I saw that video too. Someone was there filming me when I showed up with the casket and wanted to know what I was doing. So now the whole internet knows that you weren't going to cancel my mom's contract unless she was there in person. Oh no, I'm ruined. How am I ever supposed to find work again? You should have thought about that before you lied to me in the first place. In the end, Morgan went viral for her terrible customer service and the way that I got back at her. In the midst of all of that, she was fired and was ostracized by society for what she put me through. Her boss told her that she was never welcome back at the store again and apologized profusely to me for all the trouble. I'm sure that Morgan is furious with me for how things turned out, but I've already blocked her on everything.